Well, Steel Nation, what's going on? What is happening? Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, first of all, guys, I want to say thank you to everyone who came into uh, the scoreboard today. Just was a scoreboard. I was I couldn't watch the game the way I wanted to. And I couldn't react to the game. Uh, but it would have been bad anyway, to be honest. Would have been really terrible. Got my mate, my mate here, here next to me, Hank. Um, I don't know. Maybe we're a bad team. Maybe the Steelers are a bad team. Like I'm, I'm talking everything. I'm talking all, every position is bad. Um, that was an awful game. Like you can, all, you can only. I have no idea, no words. But thank you to everyone who came in and said, um, you know, what's up? Because all, I, all I ran there was a scoreboard. I hope my audio is good too. Uh, no, is it? No, it, hang on, my audio. Sh- Oh, it's not even plugged in. Now it is. Okay. Audio should be better now. It's on the Yeti. So, yeah. I hear you. I hear you, man. I actually don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Same here. So, um, yeah, I changed it to the to the Yeti. So, that was a bad game. That was an extremely bad game. So, thank you to everyone who showed up to the live stream. Um, I'm still half awake, by the way. I'm actually really tired from just watching that and being up at four. Uh, but thank you to the mods. Thank you to Pepper for keeping the peace and that kind of stuff. A um, bit of a hostile environment. I think the chat was a bit everywhere today, but it's all right. It is what it is. I didn't like a few comments, but that's what you know. it's all about. Um, yeah, I know. I didn't like it either. Kenny gets hurt. Let's hope Kenny's good. I understand. G'day, Brandy. What's going on? I understand. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. You know, if I do stumble my words, you've got to rem- remember at 7 a.m. Um, yeah, I, I understand. It's like, if you don't like Kenny, you know what I'm saying? You don't. You think he's a bust, whatever. Just don't cheer that he gets hurt. That's, that's to me, is dumb. Uh, we got to our mate here, Jesse, who the, the, the Browns got done today, too. 24 something the Bengals lost scored three points and we scored six you don't want to cheat don't don't cheat anyone that gets hurt they, they work too hard to get a job um in college and all their life to get to a point where you don't why, why would you want to cheer that they're hurt and the, the the players behind Kenny Pickett aren't aren't as aren't as better as him Trubisky threw a pass and I thought it was going to be intercepted so holy dooly um yeah crazy man I think so. It's just maybe they're not that good. I'm, I'm still very hopeful. I'm always hopeful next week. But if the Steelers play that way versus the Ravens, we lose. We'll lose by 35 points next week. Um, yeah, I just don't get that. Yeah, there's no point. There was no point running that play. It was dumb. Um, and just in my opinion, just don't cheer someone getting hurt. It's really rough, right? But we have a... Here's a point, though. Jedi says, at this point, I know Canada needs to go, but is it Thomas' fault keeping him? I think it's to a certain stage where it's like it's everyone's fault. That's where I'm kind of at now. Like, how do you play good last week? You get you come back from a win versus the Raiders. You do all this great defense. You know, you versus the Browns have great defense, you, and then you play this kind of game. Um, I understand there's a narrative out there that, um, you know, people keeps people saying that, that uh, Mike Tomlin isn't ready for these big games, but he gets ready for prime time. I can see certain points of that. I understand these these things. Uh, I know that he'll go to the podium, and this week's going to be a, a massive like social media uh, drumming of like coaching, um, which is, is very it, it's expected. So it's crazy. Oh yeah, you're going to that game, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you're going to that game. Uh, g'day, Jerry. What's going on? G'day, Ray. What's going on? G'day, everyone tuning in. And saying hello. If you are new to the stream, stream, say what's up. Say it's your first time or whatnot. Um, 
But overall, maybe the Steelers aren't that good. I'll tell you what I had too. I had two thumbnails ready. I had the one you guys have, have chosen or the one you guys clicked on to, to say hello to the to the stream. And I had I had this one. I had a second half comeback because they'll move down the field, but they can only get field goals, right? And they couldn't get TDs. I had that. I had second half comeback win, TJ Watt. We didn't see one sack, one fumble, one interception. The defense is just to as blame as the offense. Offense looks terrible. The defense looks just as bad. It really does. It looks just as bad. So everyone's saying fire Canada. They have to say fire Austin too. Um, now this could be a thing where, you know what, if they were to get new coach, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying they will, but if they were to get new coaching staff and bring new play, new coaches in and there's a new head coach, there could be a new regime. There's always new regimes like that happening. Maybe it is getting a bit too long in Tomlin's coaching where it's, you know what, this might be the end of the line. It could very well be. I'm not saying they're going to fire him. I don't think they will. I actually don't think they're going to fire uh, uh, Canada. I know, I know, but they could. If they do fire Canada, right, you need the next person to have just, just call better plays. They're going to be Glenn Thomas. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be the 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 the, the quarterback coach? I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know. So this is why it's it's tough. All right, it's tough. Um, g'day Pepper, what's going on? It just was like g'day Toddy, what's up? G'day Noah. Yeah, it it feels like that. It feels like the exact same. But last year they 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 finished they finished with a bit more heart, a bit more spirit. They won four games in a row. They'll run on the rock. They could actually move the ball down the field and get yards. But in this game, if I go to the stats, um, right, we had 12 first downs. We had two first downs in the first half, I'm pretty sure. We had total plays, 56 versus 69. You can't win those games. Total yards, 225 versus 451. Doesn't matter. And same drives. Average yards per play, four. They're six. It's just the exact opposite. Like we just got ran out of town. Thirty points to six. Fourteen in the in the sec, in the fourth quarter. Uh, Thirty-two time, and we had twenty-seven. Right. So, I think it's on everyone. I mean, I tell you what. I'm just saying. Maybe we're not a good team. Now, let me see. The Bengals lost today too, so they'll be freaking out as well, right? But I know it needs to be on us. Um, they lost twenty-seven to three by the Titans. You know what I'm saying? And the Browns beat them last week. So it's, it's at, at, at the end of the day, football is football and you have to go play the match. And we we got, you know what, by the way, shout out to the Texans. They really showed up today. They had uh, Stroud, I think, had a really good, good game too as a rookie. And now the Steelers are 30, 30 and 6. So Stroud was 30 attempts, uh, 16 completion, 300 yards, 10 average, two, two TDs, no sacks, nothing. Like they ran the ball 130, 38 times, 139, 3.7 average. We had a high average, but we couldn't run the ball. Like Nico Collins, I said in, in my pregame, who's that guy? 168 yards, two TDs, 52 longest. It's like nothing, nothing looks good about this team. It really doesn't. Um, we need, yeah, we do. We do. It is. And it's not the end of the world. It is what it is, right? But it is, it is pretty frustrating. Um, from the from the get go, not just nothing happened. Like from the very start, there was just no physicality from the the line, from our running plays, from the short passing plays we have. Uh, <clears throat> there was no none at all. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, but you know what? Let me know, guys. What do you think? Let, look, I've just I'm still a bit uh, half foggy because I, I woke. I've been awake since four. So this, this is really hard for me to put this words into order, and I, I've got to go watch it. I've, I've got to go back and watch it again. Um, but put in the comments now what was the worst thing you think you saw, and I'll try and comment on that. Holy dooly! Oh man, the Broncos won. G'day, Matty. What's going up? What's going up? See, I'm just I, I just can't talk. I just can't talk being up this early. Um, if he doesn't sack you, that's the point where I think we're getting to. That's the kind of point we're getting to. Yeah. They knew the whole playbook before we. Yeah, I agree. True. The fourth down one. Which one? 
the, the fourth and one where Kenny got injured, that was pretty bad. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you see, I think it's averaging less. I think I think the Steelers are averaging less than um oh don't hurt me like that, Jimmy. I think the average I think they're averaging less than last year. Six points. What was that? So that's not even a TD. You just got two Chris Boswell field goals. Do you know what I mean? Oh man. Holy dooly. Um yeah, and they're meant to be the best ones. They're meant to be the best ones. So who lost today? Let me see. I gotta really I gotta catch up. I'm so tired. I should have. I should have woke up at five. That was a bad idea. Uh, let me catch up. Oh, man. All right. Rams and Colts overtime. Commanders going down to Philly 24 31. Chargers up 7 0. Bills 48 20. Wow. Wow. Jaguars 23 7. Broncos again 31 28. Bears can't get out of their own way. Ravens 28 3. 20, 27 to three Bengals. So the Bengals scored three points. We scored six. They scored three and Ravens scored 28. So now Ravens a clear lead or, you know, not a clear lead, but, but a good lead three and one. Buccaneers 26 to nine and Vikings win again 21 to 13. We lose 30 to six to the Texans on JJ, JJ what night? Say so what? Uh, I don't think I have as well. I don't think I have any. Um, Yeah, that's, that's, that's awful. It's all, not only awful on the on the coaching staff. It's awful on the the play, the play, the players. Um, I haven't seen any push from the O line. I think Naji. Everyone blames Naji for being in the backfield, but I don't see any push. I don't see any push from like or any any f- form of an offensive line. Um, everyone says he Naji sucks, but he, what do you want him to do? do? He's running into a brick wall every time. Um, alrighty, so yeah, it is it is kind of crazy. But also, yeah, I don't know how how else we can vent our frustration. But what what else can we do? Um, you get beat down like that, you just got to stomach it, move on, and um, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, so we've got the real East Coast grid on, by the way. I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll bring this up. I'll bring this up. So these these blokes are the real blokes. They're not they're not the fake ones. Uh, there was uh, two fake there was two fake accounts causing more riff raff than there should have been. Uh, and that person, if you are watching, not you guys, not these guys. These guys are okay, but that's fine to me. That's cool. We lost, but there was two accounts. I had recently. I had. Um, Two or three weeks ago, I had a, someone someone created a fake account, a Steelers Nation Oz, and someone created a, a fake East Coast Gridiron account, and they made us like fight against each other. Which I shared one post. I said the Steelers, you don't. You, I said I said to these fellas, you guys don't know the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that you know, righto, maybe I was wrong, but then someone got in the way, and this is why I hate the internet. I love the internet. At the same time, I hate it. Right. Someone out there, and I think I know who it was, and I've banned them now. They created a East Coast Gridiron account. They created a Steelers Nation account with the same logo, same everything. And they went back and forth between two between two channels. These guys are the real ones right here. These guys are the real ones. I know. I, I, just, I just checked. They went back and forth between two channels, making us get fueled up and fired up over nothing. So whoever you were, you're absolute horse piss. That's what you are. You're horse piss. Um. And you're a scrub, as I read Gene's comment there too. But these guys, you're cool, man. I got nothing against you. Uh, we played bad today. We suck. Our team sucks. I woke up at 4 a.m. to watch it. Nothing against you guys. I've already blocked the other team. So if you if you guys see me over there, it's not me. It's the uh, it's the fake account, and that's why this that's why sometimes the internet the internet is the internet. Um, yeah, we we, we yeah, exactly right. See this this is this is what's going on. These guys are these got these guys are the real guys. The other time wasn't. The other time wasn't. The other time, the other time I I and you know what it fired me up. It shouldn't be like that. I know I I know I called you guys out and the Pittsburgh Steelers are, you know, you don't know them. And and I, I wore that, but we look bad, right? But what really what really shits me is the internet is the internet 
and fake people get in the way. They create these accounts and they think it's funny. It's not funny, man. These guys have worked really hard for their channel and I've worked really hard for my channel here. So there was a point, there was a point in that scenario where both sides didn't know we never talked at all. It was always the other person in the middle. And if you have enough time to do that, to be that guy in the middle, creating the drama and, uh, you know, fueling the fire that doesn't exist, honest to goodness, go do something else. Go do something else with your life. Go and create something. If you can use all the energy to be bad, why not try and be good? I just want to go off a bit of a tangent. So, yeah, welcome to these guys. Um, 100%. And look, look, what I'm saying is we never... There was a point where I, I shared the post and I was like, these blokes don't know Pittsburgh Steelers football. And then it went from that, right? And I told you guys in a message, I'm like, I'm cool with you. You know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. My my apologies. But the guy in the middle stuffed everything up. So that's what it is, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, uh, yeah. Yep. 100%. 100%, man. So yeah. <laughs> I'm the opposite. <laughs> I'm the opposite, man. I'm biased as all fuck. <laughs> Let's be honest, dude. I am so biased. I don't I don't wake up at 4 a.m. to not be biased. Like I wake up at 4 a.m. to watch the game. Like I'm biased. Like you guys know that. I am just the, probably the most biased Steelers YouTuber on the channel, on the internet. So you guys are cool. Cool, man. You guys, I, I just, you know what? I just can't stand the guy in the middle. The guy who made, who, who created both accounts. Can't stand that. But I am, I am definitely, um, yeah, I am. I love Tomlin. I'll never, I'll never, I, I, I don't care. I don't care if Tomlin goes three and fifteen. I really don't. I still, I still like what he's done for the organization. I'm, I'm not going to hate someone or dislike someone because they've had a few bad games. I'll put it that way. So, and I'm, not, I'm not, I don't think it's a bandwagon. I, I'm a supporter. Like I, I think he's, I think he's cool. I've, I've always liked Tomlin. Um, for things like this, you know, this one. Coach Stumlin, let's go for the win, man. man. Anyways, uh, shout out to, uh, to ECG. You're all cool. There's someone got in the middle. Um, ah, the internet's so the internet's so fucked. The, the internet's fucked, man. It's good but bad. You know what I mean? So, um, it was pretty bad, dude. <laughs> I think I think all of it was bad. I think I think I think. <laughs> DB was at the game, man. I think all of it was bad. Um, yeah, but that's that's the content you're gonna get from me. Is I'm I'm biased as hell. Like I don't I don't even, I'm just I'm so biased. But uh, I think all of it was bad, to be honest. From the play calling, the running the running schemes, running the ball, to my camera going shaky, to to just not executing plays. Um, you know they got some yards here and there. In the sec second half, you wanted you wanted then amp it up near the end. It's like why why did you want to amp it up now? Uh, it's just the passing was off. Uh, offensive line was just not blocking for anyone. Free rushes coming down, uh, running on Kenny. Kenny getting injured. Then Mitch coming in, almost throwing a pick. There's just so much bad, so much bad. And then it all falls back to team ownership, coaching, the tree, the players, everything. It's all all kinds of bad. Uh, George says too too slow. Yep. Um. Yeah, man. It's just there's a lot of gut, there's a lot going on. So, but this is a place for you guys to vent. I'll be on, I'll be live for the next probably 30 minutes or whatever. And we're just doing knee jerk reactions. Um, yeah, it's and you got to shout out to uh, who was at the game today? Uh, Daniel J was at the game. Our mate Rod was at the game. Uh, DB was at the game. And someone else, there was someone else at the game too. There might have been three people. So, DB says, up close in person, you guys, uh, today. Yeah, and that's right. You know what I mean? Everyone's gonna blame Najee because he can't because he can hit, hit the back hit, hit, hit in the back of the oh hit behind the offensive line. The same time though, you just can't move anyone. Herbig gets pulled in there, nothing works. Uh, we even saw Broderick Jones playing in there, nothing was moving forward. So, uh, shout out to the, the the Texans man, just absolutely killed us, killed us, like killed us, killed us. You know what I mean? I am missing a lot of comments, but I'm trying my best. G'day, uh, EJ, what's going on? It did. It went well for for JJ. Not not good for TJ. Um, yeah, it's just. But it's funny because I thought the Steelers, if they would have had a chance in this game, because they built off the last two win, two victories in a row, 
the Browns game, they got the good defense. The Raiders, we had some sort of an offense or looked okay. You had the big Calvin Austin touchdown. You had the Frymouth TD, but Kenny threw it through, Kenny pick it through a pick as well. Um, he had a similar play where Austin was going down the middle. The two safeties ran all the way back. They picked him off. It was done. Like it was just done like dinner. Uh, I don't think I've ever had confidence in Canada, to be honest. I never, I've never had confidence in Canada. I've, I've ridden like a Canada. I, I, I yelled. I'm at the point now where I've kind of like, I've yelled Canada that much. I'm kind of sick of saying his name. Now, I understand I have a YouTube channel. I do all the Steelers stuff here, but I'm kind of sick of saying his name. It is at the point where it's like, hang on a minute. It, it, you know, and, and LT's a good point, right? If you fire Canada and fire Austin, the person who replaces them, do, do you do it this year? Or do we have to wait till the end of the year? Like, the, the, legit, do we just wait till the end of the year and see what happens and see who have a new, a new page next year? Or is someone going to come in and change it? Because you, 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 how do you change the, the 140 yards on rushing? Like, I think the Steelers are averaging like 140 yards per game rushing uh, against. Uh, and how do you get in the first six drives, like Maddie said, 56 yards uh, play, yards? Like, there's nothing about this looks like Steelers football. It really doesn't. Now, I know some people were saying, and this is why I probably need to, I need to avoid the internet. Because everyone's going to say, fire Tomlin, fire Canada, fire Austin. They're going to say, fire everyone, right? But there needs to be something, there needs to be something behind that. What's, what's, what's behind those actions? Does new players come in and, and sorry, coach come in and change everything? Does a new, a new offensive coordinator change everything? We, we're instant, instantaneously a better team. It comes down to the players too. It comes down to everyone. Maybe this roster, from what we thought, and I, I know I thought, that Omar Khan, the Khan artist, maybe it's not a Super Bowl team. Maybe it's not even a playoff team. Maybe it's just a team with a, a shell of a team. Maybe it's just a bad game. The, you know what the, what the Steelers would do? And here, here's um, here's what the Steelers would do, right? The Steelers will go out next week and they'll beat the Ravens. Not I'm not saying it's going to be 100% factual, but they do those kind of things. They lose to a, to a, to a great team in the 49ers. We're all hyped up. They win two in a row. They beat the Browns uh, and then they beat the Raiders away. Right, you're thinking, oh, they got the hoodoo off their back. They went out to to, to Raiderland in 1995 was their last their last win. They get rid of that. They, they get stuck in in Kansas City. They come they come back to Pittsburgh. Then they go to uh, Texans today, and they lay an absolute duck egg. That just seems like what they do. And then the next week, you might see them win again. So maybe they are that 500 team. I don't know. It's very crazy. Holy dooly, man. Yeah, I love that point. That's probably actually one of the best points that my mate Dylan has ever said. New coaches means we have someone else to blame when we lose. That's a very good point. I really like that point. Um, that's he's not even a Steelers fan. Like SmackDown under, that's a very good point. It's always got to be blame on someone. <laughs> it's, all, it's always blame on someone, man. Always, always blame. But today, the team looked like absolute rubbish. They couldn't tackle. The physicality was not there. Defensive line was getting shook all over. Um, just the, the plays the Houston Texans made, just like the secondary was playing so far off. Like, you know, Levi Wallace and Minka and all these guys were just playing so far so far off. And they're allowing the team to move down 10, 12 yards at a time. Um, there was a few bad flags, but you can't, you can't even talk about that because the flags wouldn't have helped anyone. When that helped no one. And this team just wasn't ready. The team was just flat, straight, straight out flat. But I agree with that 100%. New coaches means that means that someone else is to blame, right? And also, when you have uh, games, you know, players like Pickett go down, hopefully Pickett's okay, a new quarterback comes in, we then we then start saying, or oh, boo Trubisky, boo Trubisky, we'll put in Mason. Boo Mason, boo Mason. It, overall, <laughs> he hasn't gone yet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it happens too. Um, I, I gotta say as well, like I think as well, this is this is what I find really funny about this stuff because I know how bad it is, right? But at the end of the day, too, we I think like on on paper you're like, oh, this team can win this game, and we've got it, we got it, we got it, right? At the same time, the, the Texans played a really good football game today. They ran the rock so well, they passed really well. Um, they they protected actually. They took away TJ Watt, if you guys noticed in the game. They put a tight on him and they, they chipped him. Uh, and then they left the, sorry, the right tackle. Sorry, I got to itch your nose. I'm really, I apologize. I'm going to really itch your nose. 
Um, G'day, Rob. What's going on? They took away TJ Watt. Was he left side or the? I can't remember what side it was. Was he? Le- he might have been left side. I can't remember. Left. Well, it doesn't matter what side. Anyways, they they chipped in with a tight end, all that kind of stuff. They put two players on him too. We didn't do that without without Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett was getting rushed all the time, all the time. Oh, holy doing. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, and no, I I I still think I still look. This is this is how we're gonna play the 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 reaction game this week too. The reaction game is gonna be. Uh, Kenny's a bust. He's awful. He's terrible. He's not the franchise, right? I'm not saying he's the franchise, but I'm saying give the guy a chance. Give the guy at least a two, uh, two, three seasons, right? But um, yeah, well, I've kind of given up. I've kind of given up on. Uh, I've kind of given up on Trubisky as well. I think he's a good backup, but overall, he's not going. He's not going to go out there and win his games. They have to establish the run, and they, they never, they never do that. The way that the back Canada schemes these these plays up is like he he's happy to get second and six, third you know third and five. He's happy to do that kind of stuff, right? But the game plan's not working, and nothing creatively just ever change. Nothing ever changes. Um, Toddy says yeah, more more shots, more ball. G'day, just me. What's going on? I can't believe we have forty in the house. That's that's insane. Forty people in the house. Hundred percent. Another good take as well. It's very easy. It's too easy to react to the moment, and it is. We are that. We are that reaction society of like we suck. And I think as the days go on, we are two and two. I'm not saying it's over, but it was really bad. It was a bad. Like you can't score six points and expect to win a game. You just can't. So yeah, it is. It is something like that. It's it just you shake your head. You 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 wonder why. You know you you put all the effort. In, like I woke up today at seven. Sorry, at four a.m. And you're like, why did I get up today? Well, I got up because I love my team and I want to support my team. At the same time, they didn't put the amount of effort in as, as we putting out as, as a supporting group. But also, it's like, well, there's a football game out there too. And that that side played better. They really did. Because 46 in the house. Uh I think J Devil, do you wanna do you wanna call our fan our fan base the 46ers? <laughs> G'day, George. What's going on, man? I don't know. I don't know what game plan it was. It didn't seem like much was happening, man. Um, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Oi, can we can we do a roll call? I would love to see with like fifty people in here. Can we do a roll call? We'd love to see where you guys are from, what state you're from, or what country. Type type in what state or what country you're from. Uh, I know Steeler girls out in Hawaii too. That's crazy. So I'm in Australia, and just let me know where you're from. I'd love to see like all the names go down the list. When you guys, uh, when you guys do it, if if, if you want to, it, it can. You don't have to put out where you're from or anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we might go with that. Uh, we got quite a few things going on here. Uh, Hawaii as well, New Zealand too. Okay, what's what's NH? I don't know. I don't know what NH is. I have no idea what NH is. Uh, Iowa, Hawks Bay, two New Zealand, Las Vegas. Uh, that's Pennsylvania, right? Ohio, Phoenix, sick man. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I'm not even convinced that was kind of like, it just looked everything looked bad all of it looked, looked bad uh, Texas yeah cool man New Hampshire oh, okay gotcha gotcha Virginia USA yeah look where we're, look look where we are all from we're all from all over the shop uh, all around the world cheering our team on and they played bad today they played terrible they played awful maybe the steals are bad now, can they get better? Yes, you can always get better in life. You can always get, I'm always trying to be positive. Whatever you're doing, if it's a hard time, you're going through some, whatever you're going through, you can always get better. But football speaking, they didn't use Frymouth well enough. There were plays that were doing screens to Frymouth. There was a nice play they got to Dana Washington, his first catch. How do you give Dana one catch? One catch, one catch in like four games. So offensively speaking, schematically and like play calling design and all that kind of stuff, it's very weak. It's very poor. Um, I saw tweeting out there from AB. AB was calling it out. Uh, Jalen Samuels, who used to be uh, a th- the running back for the Steelers. I liked him too, number 38. He called it out and said, get a Spokane, uh, Georgia from, from Randy, right? Uh, just a lot of ex Steelers are calling this out. A lot of media, the NFL players are calling out. And it comes down to, it really comes down to, do they, do they fire Canada, right, before the buy or after the buy or near the buy 
and start fresh this season or do, do they wait to the end of the year? Because no matter what, he's he probably gone at the end of the year. Like, he has to be gone. Having this amount of off offensive, like, zero spark and no points, it doesn't matter who the players are. At some point, someone's got to wear, I guess, the the quote-unquote, like, uh, someone's got to be, you know, uh, the, the escape goat. You can't fire all the players, right? But can you fire someone else? Uh, thank you, Ray, mate. Thank you very much, man. G'day, Ray. What's going on, man, with the $4.99? Much appreciated, man. I'm going to give you fireworks in just a minute. Hope we can bounce back from this, especially with the Kenny misses time. Very tough to watch. I know, I know. Very tough to watch. But let's give you fireworks. We'll be a bit of a cheer too. And as the week goes on, we'll get better and better and better. But today is just... Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm a bit out of, bit of all sorts. So fireworks to you, Ray, mate. You're a legend for that. Much appreciated. All right. Is there one positive? I actually can't think. I can't think of one positive. I can't think of one positive this team actually did well today. Does anyone know any positives that we saw today? Uh, g'day, Nick. What's going on? Uh, hmm. I, I don't think we're ever tanked. I think the Steelers never tank. But g'day, Nick. Welcome to the show, mate. Is there any positive for this team? What's what's a positive that we that we said? Um, what's a positive we can get out of this? Is a positive that the Bengals and Browns lost? Is a positive that we're still two and two? Uh, you know, but I don't know because if they if they if they go out next week and play a better game versus the Ravens, they actually show up and play football. They go three and two, and then and then they're winning the division again. So I think pretty sure if they beat the if they beat the Ravens next week, and I know I'm going too far in front, but I'm pretty sure if they beat the Ravens, we're back we're back in front, right? So Ravens are three and one. We're two and two. Browns are two and two. Bengals are one and one one and three. Right, but our scoring is horrific. Sixty-two points scoring. Actually, the, the Bengals are worse than us. Can you believe that? They must be imploding. They must be absolutely imploding. So I'm trying to find the positive from today, and I can't think of any plays that I saw any good plays like from Austin or any good tackles or any any like splash plays or you know Mike Tomlin talks about weighty down and stuff like that. I can't think of any. I can't think of any plays like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> True that. Yeah, true that too. True that. I agree. That might be it. That might be the one. <laughs> that might be the one positive was he caught the football. Um, there is something going on in this team, man. It's been like this, hasn't it? Like for the last two or three years. And and, and I know some people are calling it a trap game and, and this kind of stuff, but I don't think we're good enough. I don't think the Steelers are good enough to be a trap game. You have some honor and some like, some respectability is that even a word to be, to call it a trap game. You need to be a good team to be a trap game. Dallas versus Dallas versus Arizona Cardinals was a trap game. This wasn't a trap game. You know what I'm saying? I love these comments, by the way. You guys are on fire. This is why it's so cool to be in here, man. Um, oh, really? Too? Yeah, we know a few there. We had Daniel J. We had uh, Arsenal DB. We had Rod as well. And I'm forgetting someone. There was someone else who was going to the game too. There was three or four uh, people I knew going to the game. Yeah, that's true, Gavin. I understand. Uh, I don't think I don't think Ben will come back as OC. I think uh, I think uh, I don't know what you need. I think sometimes too, you know, maybe, maybe it's not the play, like it's the plays, but maybe it's the way he doesn't know how the the play calling and the offensive, just everything about the offense doesn't flow. Do you know what I mean? Like last week, you had two three and out, then you threw an absolute massive pass to Austin for a seventy two. They tried it this week again, didn't work, got picked off. But nothing flows with this team. Nothing. Like nothing moves and flows. It's like, it's like he he has like about 10 or 15 plays in a hat. And he pulls them out of a hat. It doesn't matter if it's third and two, third and five, or two second down and 18. At one point, the Steelers had like minus nine yards passing. How do you get minus nine yards passing? I don't know. I don't know. Um crazy. Uh, just, I think we have the talent, but I don't think Canada puts the talent in the best position possible to win. Yes, I did see that. I did see that too. A lot of the, a lot of Twitter verse was going off saying we're well, way too predictable, right? Uh, and I know it's this week. Oh my, I, I don't know. I don't know as a fan if I can stomach it. I really don't know where I can stomach it. Uh, it's just awful. Like as a fan now, it's people are just gonna be roasting them, absolutely roasting them. 
Uh, Pickensburg. <laughs> I don't know if you guys follow Pickensburg. He's on retiring. Uh, goodbye. Have someone said, have we seen the end of Matt Canada? Unfortunately not. And yet yeah, everyone's just really, really annoyed. And it's fair enough, dude. Because it's one thing to one thing to lose, but it's another thing to lose like that. Losing like that is like your team never showed up at all, right? But then you've got to give props to Texans as well. Uh, yeah, dude, I hear you. Check down five behind line is terrible. Yep. There are so many. It's almost he's like too conservative with these plays. He's really, really conservative with these plays. Uh, yeah. G'day, Vish. What's going on? Oh, man. You guys are on fire today. There is this comment after comment after comment. Oh, I don't know where to go next. <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> like, what do we do? We got Ravens next week. T- two and two. Steelers two and two. We lost against the 49ers. We lost against Texans. Uh, and we're two and two. Like, we have a whole season to go. And I'm not giving up, by the way. I'm not giving up, but I understand the frustration. So let me see who else is winning now, too. Because I think I think the Colts might have won. Did the Colts win? Did they? No, the Rams won 29 23. Holy dooly, man. Uh, that's crazy. So who's playing tonight as well? I'm not going to stream the game. I'll oh, Chiefs first Jets. I might watch that game. I might get some food and watch that game as well. Um, ah, it sucks. It's, this is this is a hard time to be a Steelers fan. From all the hype in the offseason, and here we are. Yeah, true. That's a very good point. They, they, they are. Uh, g'day, Jordan390. What's going on, mate? Canada should... <laughs> Canada should move to Antarctica. How do you guys say that? You say An- Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica, so we don't have to see him ever again. G'day, Tom. <laughs> Thomas says I need a liver transplant. It's why is it? It's like every every year. It's like it's like the last last two years have been like this, man. The last two years have been like this, hundred percent. It's so crazy. Um, that's a good point, right? I, I I understand. I understand. You know, wherever you wherever you uh, point your pitchfork and torch, it's 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 reasonable. It's reasonable to be honest. Yeah, I, I reckon he's doing a good too, man. Drinking, drinking beer, talking football. That's what it's all about. Uh, you suck, you jackass. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, in touch is way down there. G'day, what's going on? Back to 19, 1971. That's pretty. That's pretty. How do you guys say it? Ant, Antarctica. I don't know what I say. Antarctica. I don't know. Holy dooly. Uh, it is 7.41, 7.41 uh, in, in the morning. So I woke up today at 4 a.m. We had the stream with the scoreboard. Did pretty good. We had about 20 people in there going back and forth. But the game was very hard to watch. No matter what, if you watch it on a scoreboard or you watch it in real life or you watched in on TV or you listen to the radio, very hard to watch. Um, they just see, they just can't seem to run the football in any, in any direction. Like Warren had a few good plays. Najee had a few good plays here and there. But by that time, the game was pretty much over. Uh, the fourth and one hurt us. You know, not getting points or TDs, that hurts us. Flags in certain spots, but that that you can't control that, right? Uh, but by allowing the Texans to go down the field for this, the first nine minutes and, and uh, getting a TD, 7-0, at the very end of the game as well, that the, the Texans held the ball for like eight minutes to run. So they ran like eight, nine times, just ran down our throat. Uh, I agree with you. He's not the answer. Not at all. Not at all. Um, now nah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I haven't. I just got. I haven't bought it yet. You got to. Got to remember. It takes. It takes a long time to get over here, and also the shipping is like fifty bucks. Um, it's coming. Don't you worry. Oh, uh, Sean Kirk Cousins of the fridge, along with Josh Dobbs. Yeah. I thought Kirk isn't Kirk on the Vi- Kirk's on the Vikings right now, so, uh, but yeah, it's coming. But even that can't even that can't fix us too. So we have here. I'm afraid that we are mu- uh, we are have Mason until Kenny is back. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I wish we I wish we could too. I wish we had something like that. Something where that's the, like. Let me see. They had like what they scored like forty something points. Um. They scored 40, 40 points, did they? 48 points. Josh Allen, 324 TDs. They, 
D arcane 101 yards. Yeah, they're on fire. Like we didn't have anything like that. It's just not moving in the right direction. You can't score six points. You just can't. That's only field goals. Uh, and our, our defense was was missing so many tackles. So Kenny Pickett went 15, 15 23, 114 yards, five average. That is not setting your your player up for success. And it's also it's not it's not good by Pickett. It's a bad game from Pickett. Three sacks. Trubisky threw for 518. Najee Harris 14 71, 23. They tried running the football. They got 4.6, was quite effective, a little bit effective. Um, George Pickens, 25 yards, Calvin off 24. Like there's not, there's not even a resemblance of an offense. It's nothing to do with off. It's like an, it's not even offense. It's bad. All right. Kenny, we're getting sacked. Mink has made 11 tackles. Le- Leonard Roberts made 10. It's just overall bad. I actually don't know what to say. Uh, Chris, uh, Brad Wings punted away five times, five times for 230 yards, right? Just overall bad. Hooli dooly is what we got to say. Um, Hooli dooly. They lead the league? That's bad, too. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, this one stinks. Yeah, that's a good another good positive too. The Bengals are really, <laughs> the Bengals are really bad. Oh my goodness. Um, because they're what they've scored. How many points they scored in total? I think they've scored like they scored three today. Let me see. Um, they've scored in total forty nine points. So you think we have a bad, they got a bad too. The, the, the only positive is the Steelers can hopefully get better throughout the season. But there's a lot of pressure on this team, a lot of pressure on Mike Tom, a lot of pressure on Canada, a lot of fire Canada, a lot of fire Austin, a lot of fire Steeling Beam, fire the Roonies. Because when you play like that and you are awful like that, then you're going to get the reaction from the crowd. And i got to wait and i got to go watch the, the Mike Tomlin press conference. Um but overall now, what's Kenny Pickett's stats? He's he's one he's 62 for 104. He's four TDs, three interceptions. So I think he's like probably four and four now. Sacked 11 times. Just overall crazy. Holy dooly. Holy dooly. All right, guys. Get any more questions? Let me know. That was a bit of a rant. And I'll do some videos later on today. Uh, like a five-minute video to kind of wrap it up. Because this team is not a good team. It really isn't. But any more questions, I'll start to answer them. We'll start to wind down. And yeah, that's a lot of fire, man. <laughs> if, you want to, if you want to vent your frustration frustrate anymore, feel free. Let it go. Let it go. And we'll start to wrap up. I haven't, I haven't got any good music today. No happy, no happy champion music because I didn't. Who's next OC? I have no idea. I have no idea. That is one question I don't even look into very much. It could be if they if they do fire Matt Canada, you probably say Glenn Thomas will step up and he'll take over the reins. But I have no idea. Uh, who's gonna win? Sean says send Canada to the ring with two boxing, two boxing kangaroos. Who would win? I'd probably think the kangaroos would get him. Get ACF. What's going on, mate? Oh yeah. Oh boy. I I reckon I reckon it's probably more. I know a lot of people say it's Tomlin, but I, I think it's more management. I think it's more the Roonies and that, and, the, and like Omar Khan, but obviously they're on, you know, talks together. Um, I think you'd rather not fire your offensive coordinator because it, it's you'd rather your team work through it and get better and, get, you know, work through the adjustments. But at some point, if it's not working, you need to, to, to get rid of someone and bring someone in who is working because at the point now, Every year it's gotten worse. In the four games, we're like averaging seven points a game or something like that. Maybe someone can tell me. Actually, I, I can tell you guys. So how many how many points are we averaging? A, um, where is it? If we got six today, I'm just going to find the scoreboard. Because in 2021, it was 22. In, in 22, it was 18 points a game. So what's... 62 divided by four. What's that? Uh, 62 divided by four. So we're averaging 15 points a game, which is pretty bad. And you take away the pick sixes and the fumbles and the, and the Chris Boswell field goals. 
Like, what do we have? How many TDs do they have? Like three? <sighs> like Muth. They got Muth. Uh, Muth twice. Austin for, I think I have like three TDs. I'm pretty sure they have three TDs. That's pretty bad. Like overall, it's freaking horrible. Let me see. Kenny's got four TDs. We still haven't got a rushing touchdown yet in four games. No rushing touchdowns at all. None. Not one. George Biggins has a TD. Calvin Austin and Muth has two. We have four. Four offensive touchdowns. That comes down to the players, the coaching, everyone. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That is not good football. You cannot win games like that. You can't be competitive with games like that. Holy dooly. Uh, all right, guys. I'm going to start to wrap it up now. I have hope you guys have vent your stuff. I've, vent, I've vented my stuff. Uh, I do believe that too, Jin. I think they will. The Roo's going to win. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, you look out for more videos from myself. I'll be going live, I think, too, with Maddie. That's the later on tonight. Um, and yeah, man, the tough one, the very tough one. No, <laughs> I think you're laughing at your own joke. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. That is one thing. That is one thing you will not see me ever do. I will never cheer for tanking. I don't care. I don't, I, and you know why? It's from my own, just my own personal standpoint. I don't wake up so early. I don't. I don't put all the effort and time into this channel to tank. I don't. I don't. I don't wishfully, wishfully think to tank. Right? There's no guarantees with a number one draft, number one overall pick that you're going to go win the Super Bowl next year. No guarantees. Right? Look at what's happening now with Josh. Josh Burrow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get caught in that. Josh Burrow. Right? Mr. Burrow. He was a number one draft pick. I'm pretty sure for the Bengals. There's no guarantees, and now he's hurt, a bit injured, and the, the Bengals are going bad because of that. There's no guarantees. That with the number one draft pick, no matter who you get, you're going to play better. There just, 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 just isn't. So I am not going to waste my time uh, supportively cheering them to lose. Makes no sense to me. I'll never be like that. Uh, you don't want to kick someone when they're down. You want to help them up. If, they, if they're in a bad spot, you want to bring them up. You don't want to push them down. I understand you get a higher draft pick, but I don't care. I'm not talking about the draft until March. Like, Legit, don't don't care about the draft. I don't care. You you play to win the game. Herm Edwards, you play to win the game. I actually met that bloke too. I met that bloke in San Fran. You play to win the game. And today, we didn't play. We played to lose the game. It was bad. Holy dooly. I'll go back, guys, and uh, read some of these chats later on. I can't believe we lost today, but that that is what it is. Um, yep, let me play some music on the way out and I'll um I'll see you later. What do we do? We keep we keep them on and let's play let's play this one. You guys know you guys know this song. I'll see you later. 